So I am so happy and blessed that I have an opportunity to stand here in front of you as doctors, as physicians, as people who are on the front lines of ankylosing spondylitis and every other disease that's related to it. But I'll be honest with you. I didn't come here today to speak to doctors. I didn't come here today to speak to physicians. I didn't come here today to speak to your years of medical experience. I came today to speak to you as human beings on the most basic of human levels of humanity. I have had ankylosing spondylitis for the last two years. I was diagnosed in 2017, and here I am speaking to a room full, 60 doctors from around the world. I'm talking about Brazil and Chile and South Africa. Man, I am blessed to have the ability to be the one to speak to them today and to share my story. Doctors, physicians from all around the world, and here I am, just two years later. It just shows you that you can take your adversities and turn them to your advantages. When you have a patient who walks in and they've gone from specialist to specialist and they don't know what's going on in their life and they're on the verge of depression because the pain just seems so real to them. Who's counting on you just to take a little second longer to do a little bit more research? To maybe call up a colleague and discuss the situation and maybe the both of you can help this individual out. Who's counting on you? When my first son was born 10 years ago, I remember the doctor was, that, that delivered him was like super cranky, like he was snapping at everybody. He even snapped at me. And I remember thinking to, to myself, this doctor's probably delivered thousands of babies throughout his lifetime. And even that night, he probably delivered two or three before he delivered my sons. But for me, it was my very first experience. It was my very first child. So on the days where you feel like your life is mundane and you just deliver a diagnosis after diagnosis after diagnosis and it just becomes routine for you. Who's counting on you just to take a moment to put your hand on that person's shoulder and let them know it's going to be okay. To show a little bit of sympathy. To show just a little bit of empathy. Who's counting on you? So ankylosing spondylitis yeah, is a very common form of inflammatory arthritis of the spine. So it's a very significant type of arthritis that presents a challenge both for the physicians and for the patients. I promise you, I don't look at AS as an illness. I don't look at it as a disease. In fact, I wear it as a badge of honor. Because the truth of the matter is, there are people out there who are going through a lot worse. We are here at a hospital, and there's people who are just above us who would switch places with me in an instant. And secondly, I get to stand here and be a living example of someone who's just an ordinary guy, who gets to live an extraordinary life. Why? Because I choose to do so. And there's a saying that says, you can't control the power of the weather, but what you can do is have an umbrella. I can't control the pain. I can't control the stiffness. I can't control the inflammation. But what I can do is control how I show up in this world each and every day. So I have to ask you, who's counting on you to be the best doctor that you can be in every situation of your life?